What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel. Agent Diesel. Shaken not stirred. How are you? We're back in the Black Watchmen. Mission 13. I just completed it. And it's a wonky one. Full of mystery. Full of mayhem. Full of like uh, things that kind of like could turn you around, you know? Like you... I'm sorry to say like so many times. It's early in the morning. I haven't really had the whole process of my brain really firing on all cylinders. But had a good time with this. Um... Uh, it takes you in places and you really have to go into detail of the things that they give you. If that's any kind of hint, which I don't think it is. But uh, let's, uh, let's jump into it. Let's, let's, let, let, let's replay this. Mission 13. The Two-Headed Eagle. Ooh. The Tree of Life speaks of man's place within the universe. Because man is investing with mind and consciousness in the true path, and yet also exists in the physical world, he may through himself experience and express all. Our network intrusion team has uncovered a unique document within the Superterum database. It may relate to the creation of M55. Decipher the document and investigate any possible leads. Understood in this way, one can expand their view to encompass all. Thus the student seeks to know himself and therefore the universe, as both are the same expression of the pure vision. Once the path is known, one can begin the journey upwards. I just really dig that, uh, the very intense black man yelling at me as hard as he, Listen, man, we need you to decipher this now. So make sure, like Christopher Walken and, and a, black, a giant black man. Decipher the document found in the Super Terum database and uncover the author. Okay. So network intrusion team report. Document of unknown origin. Appears to be enciphered with HTTPS and cipher.it. And what is the document? FY8QW7. So FY8QW7. I've already done. Oh, hey. Uh, what was that again? FY8QW7. FY8. 8QWs. FY, I should just pop up. <laughs> yeah, it should. <laughs> and then this will pop up this little document here. I've downloaded it already. Boom. And it's a document with the logo of a double headed eagle with a, with a crown. ABST is in the center. And a, ver uh, uh, a quote As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Oh, okay. And we have an undiscernible code. Now, it gave us a website. Website! And it is encipher.it. So all you do is you take the thing from all the all this fun stuff right here. You'll cut, copy, and paste it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Copy. And hop over here. And then paste. And then it goes to decipher it. And then it asks for enter the decryption password now this is where you will spend an hour or two just running through clips in your mind because what you have to do is you have to find out what that quote is you have to find out the origins of all of this but mainly as a bird that wandereth from her nest so is a man that wandereth from his place and you type in all kinds of fun stuff and it turns out that it's a uh, king from King James Bible. As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Proverbs twenty-seven eight. And you're like, okay, I spent so many. I was looking at double-headed eagles. Double eagle, so intense. Uh, just trying to find. I was typing a Byzantine Empire. Let's give an give you an idea. A double-headed eagle is a common symbol in heraldry and vexology. It is most commonly associated with the Byzantine Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, the Serbian Empire, the Russian Empire, and their successor states. In Byzantine heraldry, the heads represent the emperor having authority over both secular and religious matters. Byzantine emperors were regarded as Christ's vice, uh, vice, regent, vice regent on earth. It also signified the dominance of the Byzantine emperors who, over both east and west, 
In the Holy Roman Empire's heraldry, it represents the church and the state. Several Eastern European nations adopted it from Byzantine and continued blah, 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 wackity schmackity. None of this will help you. I mean, it's cool to read, read up on some stuff and uh, get the origin of this. That's kind of cool. Um, it's nifty. It's spiffy. But it all entails every little every little clue you need is in the eagle right here yes now you notice on the uh, the wings there are black feathers there are white feathers white feathers black feathers white feathers so you sit there and you go let me just count some stuff and then you count one two three Four. Uh, turns out there's 24 black feathers over here and then there's 16 black feathers over here and you're like 24 16 is that another Bible verse is that is, is that it is that it 24 16 hmm proverb 24 16 And we we'll go down to King James Bible for a man, for just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So you just take that whole quote. No. Take the whole thing. Punctuation and everything. Commas, periods, everything. A boom. And it encrypts like this. Brother, our civilization is heading towards its own destruction. Nature is turning against those who have destroyed it. And man is set to pay a heavy price for what he has done. I don't know why I'm talking with a slight British accent. Our masters performed a sacred ritual to exit this plane. But we must strive to bring forth the new age before we may join them. The path ahead is treacherous. We are forced to align ourselves with the wicked men of science in order to achieve our ultimate goal. The wicked, the wicked scientific men. We have the wretched remains of the sinners, and they have the means to transform it into the power elixir to bring on the return. And upon the return, these madmen and maniacs shall be cast aside and our brethren shall be united. The cycle shall be complete according to the divine rhythm. This is the rhythm of divine, uh, and we shall ascend as the civilization of the corrupt crumbles into oblivion. From the cursed remains of the foul men of mischief shall rise our glorious phoenix. You must find the innocent and the pure, and transform the blighted bones into the powerful elixir needed to awaken him. Prepare, hi prepare, nah, prepare them for glorious sacrifice using the ancient methods, so their pure offering serves him and they may rejoice in the next plane and be rewarded for eternity. For in the word, in the world of illusions, all must pass away. Welcome to the grand illusion, signed Brother Matemius. So let's just take that, copy that, Brother Matemius. Because they were looking for the author, Brother Matemius. Dearly Bilati, Brother Matemius, or just Matemius, will be uh, the uh, solution. So now we hop into the second John, and that is Brother Matemius. Let us start now. A search for our database links the following site to the individual known as Brother Matemius. Determine the group behind the site, and they give us a web website. They give us a website over here. So let's go ahead and hit that up. And it is this: www.abs-temple.com. It says, we seek only the enlightened and the knowledgeable who live by the rule. Do, do, do. And notice how there's no black feathers. It's all white. This is also a giveaway. Like, just a, not a giveaway, but once you get to this part, you realize like, oh, that's definitely the code in there. The code is in the, the proof is in the pudding. Code is in the ciphers all right there. Black. Here are the black feathers. And then they go over to their actual site. No black feathers. Hmm. Interesting. So it gives us one clickable option. We'll go to this. What perfect gift did the second innocent give to our ancient order? And then it has answer. Okay. What perfect gift did the second innocent give to our ancient order? So if you go to Google and you type in second innocent, 
Pope Innocent the Second. Or Innocent. I'm not really sure. Is he Italian? Is he Italian? Hold on here. I think he's Italian. I think he's an Italian Pope. And Pope Innocent the Second. Born Gregorio Paparacci. Oh yeah, he's totally Italian. Um, was Pope for was Pope from 14 February 1130 to his death in 1143. He was probably one of the clergy in personal attendance on the anti-Pope Clement the Third. Mm. <clears throat> and you can go through all this too. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's asking for what perfect gift did the Second Innocent give to the Saint Ancient Order? So if you go back into Google. And you type Pope Innocent I I perfect. You are the perfect gift, the perfect gift, the perfect gift. It brings up Omni Datum Optimum. Latin for every perfect gift. Oh really? Quotation from the uh, Epistle of James. Epistle? The vessel with the pestle? was a papal bull issued by Pope Innocent II in 1139 that initially endorsed the Order of the Poor Knights of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, Knights Templar, Ooh. in which the Templar rule was officially approved and papal protection given. Additionally, Omnidatum Optimum pr uh, promised all spoils from Muslim conquest to the Order and made the Order exempt from tithes and taxes. As for the things that you will receive from the spoils, you can confidently put them to your own use, and we prohibit that you be coerced against your will to give another, to give anyone a portion of these. Okay. Although Omnidatum Optimum was an unusual bull in in and of itself, it was followed by Pope Celestine's the Second Millites Temple Templi mm, in 1144 and Pope Eugene Third's. Uh, mil militia Day in 1145, which together gave the Templars an extraordinary range of rights. Oh, okay, so it basically gave the Knights Templar full reign for God to like protect all the things in the world that really they care that the, the the Holy Roman Church really cared about. Among other things, the order was permitted to build its own churches, bury their dead on those church grounds, and collect taxes on Templar propri uh, properties once a year. The unique cemeteries constructed by the Templars proved to be extremely controversial. They must choose, but choose wisely. Uh, so what we do is we take this. Don't even worry about the Papal Bull. The Papal Bull is not the answer. It's Omni Datum Optimum. So you copy that, go over to the ABST site, and then where it has answer, where it has the answer button, delete, delete, paste it in. Make sure there's no spaces. Booyakasha. And another uh, statement from Brother Metemius. At this stage, you must learn that all life is but ephemeral. Ephemeral? Ephemeral. All that, ha all that was shall pass away like smoke in the wind. We seek only to aid those willing, to turn away from the profane world, in order to open to the cosmic world and to prepare yourself for the return. You, wishing to be a knight of the Templar, join your brethren and free yourselves of all human and terrestrial bonds that tie us to this decaying planet. Using the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, using the remains of wicked men, we seek to bring about his return, and with him, the new age of glory. Your journey has begun. Welcome to the ancient brotherhood of the Solar Temple. Let he be your guide inward, Brother Metemius. And let's just copy with that bad boy. Ancient Order, brother, ancient brotherhood of the solar temple. Cut, copy, baby. Woo! Because what they're asking for is determine the group behind the site. Ancient brotherhood of the solar temple. What's up, y'all? Back. Ah, and that is mission 13, two-headed eagle. A very kind of complicated one. And if you don't pay attention to the little intricacies in certain logos, um, notice certain things and take hints you know just like oh well, that seems a little weird that seems a little crazy but it took a while too <laughs> it took me about an hour and a half and I was just I was at my wits end of just trying to like get this all together and I was typing in everything from as a bird that wanders from the nest and I'm like uh what are you talking about so many proverbs I was doing all this research research and I was just typing in like 
King James Bible. I was uh, in the encryption. King James Bible. That's not a password. Uh, just a ton of like, double-headed eagle, Byzantine Empire, all these things. And I was just like, what is going on? Um, then I had to go over to the uh, went over to the Black Watchman site, and they uh, they they have forums over there, and you just they don't give any answers away. They just give hints, and then one guy's like the wings, I'm like oh, and then you notice like black and white wings. So was, it's not like I I was like hey, that's kind of weird. There's black wings and there's white wings. I'm a smart guy. Like no no like somebody else figured that out. I was like and just said the wings look. Look at the look at the wings in the logo, and I was like, okay. And I'm like, oh, black and white, and then that's how I put it together. So I'm not a genius. I just had a little bit of help, which is something that you will need in this game unless you're like super brilliant and super amazing and super awesome, which I am, but apparently not enough. So folks, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like. It helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you can go ahead and hit subscribe, because new videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, like, shout, and I will check you out right here again in the Black Watchmen next time.